it's important to move according to God's direction. Sometimes, you know, we, we may feel like if you are put in Elijah's place and God is telling you, go to this city and I'm going to command, a, I've commanded a widow to feed you. You know, the rational mind would tell you, oh, should I go that long? Are there not opportunities nearby? Oh, is it just a widow? And what a widow can have, you know, she might not have much. You know, she might not be really able to feed me all these days. Sometimes we look at the packaging which God has packed, uh, the real blessing that is inside. And we feel like, can this packaging really hold a great blessing for me? This offer is not attractive. This place is not attractive. This, uh, you know, opportunity is not that nice to look at. But you know what? Many times God packages the priceless diamonds or the priceless blessings in very commonplace packagings. You know, it's not like glittering, glistening, you know, but people when they are when they feel like, oh, this is not an attractive thing, and they just shun it away, avoid it. They're losing. They're losing big time. This is something I've learned. You know, we learned from Elijah. He just listened to the Spirit and obeyed. And he didn't say, Lord, is it just a widow? Why not a minister? Why not a better wealthy man to take care of me? No, I tell you. When Elijah stepped and went there, not only he was provided food, the Bible says, you know, there was a little discussion that went on between Elijah and that widow, and she eventually brought uh, bread and water, and he took. And the result was verse 15, so she went away and did according to the word of Elijah, and she and he and her household ate for many days. Verse 16, the bin of flour was not used up, nor did the jar of oil run dry, according to the word of the Lord, which he spoke by Elijah. Amen. That is, all through that days of famine, God took care of Elijah and that family. It's not about always what you get from someone. You know, God leads you and when he when you go according to god's leading and be in a place take up a job be in a profession uh, do a business or even ministry for that matter you become a blessing to people whom god brings in association with you and that's that's more exciting for god and that's actually exciting for me because you know it's more than you getting blessed you become a channel of blessing to others